So, David, just uh, tell me what you're doing at the World Water Day. Well, thanks for the opportunity to, uh, to tell you what I'm doing. Um, I'm here with my organization, which is the Water Supply and Sanitation Collaborative Council. Uh, it's a Geneva-based um, membership and partnership organization um, that is actually part of the, the UN system. We're hosted by the United Nations Office for Project Services. Um, we're here because our executive director, Chris Williams, was involved in uh, a number of the sessions going on. And we also um, were helping support one of the breakout sessions that generated some, some input uh, back to the high-level panel this afternoon. And uh, just meeting a lot of um, friends and colleagues in the sector. Uh, uh, to celebrate World Water Day, but also to uh, look and see how we can how we can move the agenda a few steps further. And how is your organization working towards water cooperation? Well, um, WSSCC has um, the word collaborative in its title, Water Supply and Sanitation Collaborative Council, so that's very much what we're about. Collaboration, cooperation, partnership. So um, we work uh, in a number of different ways um, to facilitate that sort of as a neutral platform. We try to bring uh, different kinds of organizations together, different stakeholders, uh, and in a very practical way, as one example, um, we are implementing something called the Global Sanitation Fund, which is a financing mechanism designed to increase the flow of finances for um, sanitation behavior change work in developing countries. And we've got 10 uh, Global Sanitation Fund um, country programs operating now and the way those country programs are developed is in a multi-stakeholder way. We um, bring together all of the key actors in a country from civil society, from government, uh, from international agencies and they come together and develop a plan um, that is then funded and, and implemented through this global sanitation fund. So that's an example of how we work in a um, cooperative or, or collaborative way. And what's your take today on the end of the wake-up call? What's your take on that? I think the, the wake-up call is very good. Um, you know, what's coming out of the thematic discussions and the wake-up call, uh, if you compare it to the sort of wording, um, the sort of goals and targets that were set um, 13 years ago in the MDGs, you can see that the, the sector's come a long way. It's become a lot more nuanced because we talk about things like um, equity and inclusion. We talk about the need to uh, make sure that there are good um, water supply and sanitation facilities, not just in the home, but also in institutions where people work, where people go to school, where people might be um, you know, visiting a health clinic. So these sorts of nuances, um, they're much more advanced than they were 12 or 13 years ago. And, and uh, I'm not sure if a lot of the viewers would know this, but when the Millennium Development Goals first came out, there was a, uh, a target for water supply, but there wasn't a target for sanitation. Um, which was actually a rather big omission consider, considering that 40% um, of um, the world's population in developing countries does not have access to uh, basic uh, safe sanitation. Um, and this is despite the well-known benefits that come with good sanitation such as improvements in health, improvements in the environment, improvements in, in people's own um, economic situation, um, improvements in their own dignity. I mean it's, it's not a nice thing if you have to wait until the end of the day and, and go out into the bush to be able to use the toilet. So the fact that um, sanitation is recognized and then you see real nuancing uh, in the kinds of discussions that were that were coming out today and that were reflected in the call for action, um, I think that's very good. Thank you, David. Oh, thank you very, very nice. much. Yeah, that's okay. very nice. Thank you. Yeah.